This is an extra guide for the iOS app using just code without storyboard. Okay, your first task is to constrain the buttons and to fix the font size. Let's start off with font size because that's relatively easy. When you're drawing text, you have this parameter when you're drawing the label. It starts off with a string, then the font type, the font size, and then a border adjustment. And for most fonts and font sizes, uh, zero and negative two will do. So the idea with this framework is you want to draw slightly larger buttons for the iPad versus that on the iPhone. You set the font size for the iPhone and you multiply by LFM. And LFM just means large factor multiplier. So on an iPad, this is set to two. On an iPhone, this is set to one. So you need to correct the ones that just say 18 or the ones that don't have times LFM. The next thing you need to do is constrain the buttons. Buttons are initialized by this routine and this initializer, CG Rect Make. CG Rect Make uses four parameters. Each parameter is separated by commas. So there should be three commas and four parameters. The first parameter is the X coordinate. The second parameter is the Y coordinate. The third parameter is the button width. And the fourth parameter is button height. And as I mentioned before, we want to scale the buttons to be a little bit bigger for iPad. So this means we need to multiply the button by LFM for the height and for the width. The slightly more difficult thing to do is to constrain the X and Y positions. So let's have an overview of the positions. For every screen, the top corner is zero, zero. And for every view for that matter is zero, zero. So if you draw a view inside a screen, this view will be set to say 50 comma 30. So this is the X position, this is the Y position. But if you draw something inside this view, this view has its own zero, zero. So if I draw something here, this would be 50, 30 inside the purple view. So all drawing is relative to whatever view you're drawing into. Okay, let's erase that because that's not necessary for this point. For your big view, we have this width. This is called vc.screen width. And we have this, which is vc.screen height. I will abbreviate this with vh and vw for now. And again, we have the butt width, and we'll just abbreviate this with W, and butt height, and this is just going to be H. If we want to draw the buttons here, So to draw the X position of the button, we know that this is VW and we want a bit of a border. So we'll call that 10 and we have the button width, which is W. So X is VW minus 
the width times LFM, the button width, minus the little border times LFM. Okay, and for the Y position, we don't want to use the bottom of the screen. We want to use the middle of the screen and then move up. So this is VH divided by 2. Then we want to subtract H times 1.1 times LFM. And the reason for this is that we have the height here. But we also want to be a little bit away from the center of the screen. So here we had 10. Here, by adding 0.1, that'll add a little buffer. Let's move this out of the way for a minute. So if we look at the code for the right buttons, you will see that we have the screen width minus the button width times LFM minus 10 times LFM. And for the Y position, we have the screen height divided by 2 minus the button height times 1.1 times LFM. To draw the second button, which is below, we still have H and W for the button height and width. However, we want a little bit of space, and we want to go down a little bit. The X position is exactly the same. The Y position will be slightly different. So this will be VH divided by 2. So we're taking the center of the screen, and then we're adding H times 0.1 times LFM. And the reason why we're using 0.1 is because we use 0.1 up here. So there's a 0.1 border on this side and a 0.1 border on this side. We don't want to draw uh, times 1.1 because we're not shifting it down. All drawing is done relative to the top left corner for this routine. Other routines might have another, what we call center point. This center point is not in the center, it's the top left corner. And let's move this out of the way now. If you were to draw a button on the left side, well, this Y position will still work. So VH minus H times 1.1 times LFM. Here, we only need the border because remember, we're drawing from the top left corner. We don't need to add a button width. All we need is the border. So this X position is simply 10 times LFM. And that concludes this lesson for the first exercise.